Before we get to our next guest, I just want everyone to know, I really appreciated Jess using the wrap as a point to all of the weather systems that were happening across the country. I really did. I thought it was really great. All right, uh, have you ever seen one of those shows about extreme couponing in the States and you thought, mm, okay, that works there, but not in our country? Well, guess what? Our next guest has made it her mission to show us Canadians how to do it. Take a look. Wouldn't it be nice to have receipts that look like this? Well, I could help get you there. Couponing is 100% possible in Canada, and again, each week I share deals to make it easy for you. I tell you where to find coupons. I love this. This was a clip, and this is a clip, from a TikTok account, Living on a Looney. The account is run by Kathleen Cassidy, who describes herself as a veteran couponer with her best tips on how to start saving money in this country, in Canada. Kathleen is joining us now. Good morning to you. Good morning, how are you? I'm really well, I'm so fascinated by this. And I am one of those people that was like, you know, I've seen the American shows, it's like, but that just doesn't happen here. So you're saying, yes, it does, and you can do it. You've been couponing for what, more than 10 years? How did you yes, get started? It has been. Yeah, so I started couponing actually during university. So I was basically looking for a way to save money because anyone who has gone to college or university, you know how expensive tuition is. But I was looking for one, a way to pay off my tuition, but also looking for a way to save money and make those memories as a student as well. So through couponing, I was actually able to, yes, pay off my tuition, wow. but also to go to, you know, the extra dinner out with my friends and other concerts. So it was really just a great way to financially save money for myself. And I still do to this day. I love and I love that and even you know thinking of the current climate that we're living in right now how expensive everything is to save a buck or two means a lot and goes a long way so for somebody like me who's never couponed in their life before how do we start out what are your best tips Yes. So first, obviously, you're going to need to find some coupons. So a lot of people actually miss this. But in the grocery stores, a lot of the times they do have coupons right in the aisles that you can look for. So that is a great place to start. Also, online coupons. So I try to make that a little easy for you on my pages. I normally compile the resources for you so you can print off coupons or get them mailed right to your house. And then another one is price matching. So if you shop at a real Canadian superstore, no frills, Freshco or, or a Giant Tiger, they do price match and that is really easy and something you can do to instantly save money. And there are also a lot of apps that can help you make couponing easier. So what are some of your favorites? Yes. So first off, the Flip app, that's a great way, again, to price match. Basically, this is an app that has all the flyers directly on it. So you can go through and you can look at the sales this week, who has the cheapest pricing. It is a really helpful resource, especially when shopping in store. Another one would be the PC Optimum app. So that is a great loyalty points program. So you can earn all of your points and then you can redeem them for money off your bill in store, which is super great. Mm -hmm. And that's at any Loblaws banner store. And then finally, we also have the checkout 51 app. So this is a cashback app that actually allows you to earn real cash back. So you would go to the store, purchase the Mountain Dew, for example, take a picture of your receipt and then upload it. And once you get to $20 or more, you can cash out and they send you a check in the mail. Okay. that Those are all great tips. Okay. I'm, I'm going to ask you a stupid question. So when you go, <laughs> you've got the coupons, you've got them on your phone, and then you've got the physical copies of some coupons. So you you go to the checkout and you're there. And for every item, you're giving it to the cashier. So, which I'm assuming takes, takes a long time, no? Uh, it really depends. I would say the number one tip if you're looking to start couponing is to being organized. Okay. So for example, what I do is when I'm at the grocery store, I put my items on the till and I will put the coupon directly on top of the item that it nice. corresponds with. That's a really good idea and a really good tip. And when I think of couponing, I often think of like toiletries or packaged food, bulk food. Is that all you can get or are we looking at healthy options now too? Those are definitely the most popular and the easiest, I would say, to start with, but it's not the only way. So, for example, uh, No Frills or other stores, a lot of the time will have points back uh, if you buy produce. So there's that opportunity. There's also ways to save on meat and other items, such as those price matching, different cashback components as well. And what I also love, Kathleen, is that you've been able to help a lot of people through couponing. How have you been able to do that? Uh, so basically through couponing, you do get a bulk of donations. You can kind of see behind me, uh, but I do have more than I need. So what I basically do is then I can donate to my community. So I wasn't able to do that financially beforehand, but through couponing, getting stuff for free or very cheap allows me to give back to my community through those donations. That is so great that you're doing that. What an inspiration. And thanks for all the great tips, Kathleen. Thank you so much. All right, take care. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.